hey everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back into my kitchen today we're going to be making some green shell mussels on the barbecue stay tuned i'm a big deal <laughs> I'm a big deal, very, very, very important for so here I have roughly about a pound of green shell mussels. Now these do come previously frozen, so what I did was just defrost them. Now I'm going to um start seasoning these. Now I used about a teaspoon of my aromat seasoning i used about a teaspoon of my onion granules and i'm also going to go in with a teaspoon of my cayenne pepper now i'm going to give this all a good good mix going to start working on the butter now i'm using um salted butter for this dish now make sure you're using a good good quality butter now ideally you would want your butter to be softened you know so take it out leave it for a while mine wasn't so softened so after i put in my seasoning now i'm going in with my fish seasoning now i'm using the stone mill brand that i picked up from aldi and also i'm going to go in with about six cloves of garlic that I finely chopped and I'm also going to add about roughly about half a teaspoon of my mixed herb now my butter was you know it wasn't that soft as you can see me you know the struggle for try I mix it and it wasn't working so what I did I literally just put it in a microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds just to soften it a little bit now as you can see after it's come out of the microwave it's much much easier to work with now if you want your mussels to be extra extra spicy you can add a little bit more cayenne pepper or you can go in with some dried chili flakes or you know a pepper of your choice i'm also going to go in with a little bit of dried parsley you know if you have fresh parsley it's even better you know fresh better but yeah i'm working with the dried one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a a foil paper large enough you know to to um hold the mussels now if you want to do this individually individually like you only want to make a little pa um parcel of maybe about four or five mussels you can totally do that but i just wanted to do everything in one now what i'm gonna what i'm doing here is literally just getting that butter and just putting it all over the mussels i'm trying to get the butter into each individual mussel you know which is so better as i said before you know i've added a little bit more cayenne pepper but you can also use fresh chilies and i'm also going to add roughly a about three tablespoons of water now I'm gonna try and wrap this as tight as possible you know just get the edges in because once you put this on a barbecue you know it will start to leak and you don't want all that sauce to leak out what I did end up doing was putting an extra layer of um, foil paper around foil paper around the muscles making sure that you see that little where you know the end of the paper is always up so if it leaks it's not going to leak out now you know i had a day on the barbie we were barbecuing jerking chicken and a jerk fish and thing and thing and thing so you know what why not throw this out there as well and you know it wasn't a regret put this on the barbie for about i'd say roughly about 20 to 25 minutes maybe even 30 minutes make sure the the the, the, the heat under it is just low now look at this guys it was it came out absolutely delicious might not look too 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 delicious too no you know <laughs> you know it's all about the presentation around here for the gram and thing and thing but it was so good now what i'm doing is just getting that juice all that buttery garlicky juice and just Mm. putting it on the muscles believe me you guys will not be disappointed leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this one don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and as i always say aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself catch you in the next video guys thanks for watching bye